in this section here will be where all the payload apparatus will be going. So that's really complex. The latest innovation to come out of the University of Saskatchewan may be about the size of a carton of milk. But if it's successful, the U of S space design team will have proven, among other things, that great things can come in small packages. It's revolutionary and we're minimizing the same thing as we're taking a room full of computers and making it more powerful and in our smartphone, the same idea as that. And so we're very confident in our design. We've gone through a lot of modeling, different modeling of the satellite and different computer programs and we're very confident in it. This is the full-sized model for the USST's nano satellite project, the result of a year and a half of research and design which Dean of Engineering Ernie Barbar sees as the ultimate extension of the educational goal of the institution. They want to know more, uh, they want to uh, engage uh, in, in problems that they see in the world today and opportunities and they take it upon themselves to uh, build the connections, to, uh, um, to, to do something as audacious for a student group to do as to build a satellite with a payload. The plan is to have the nanosatellite study and map the density of plasma in the ionosphere, which can interfere in communications on Earth, with potentially devastating consequences. Can you imagine having all the power systems in the world shut off all at once? I mean, there was that blackout a couple of years ago in New York and Toronto and everything, but if that happened again today, I mean, it, it's, it would be devastating not only our infrastructure, but our society. Understanding the processes involved with that and how our Earth reacts is essential, not only to our scientific knowledge, but just for civilization to survive. But there are a few small steps this group has to take before they can make their giant leap into space. This weekend, members of the team are off to Ottawa with their model, where it will be judged at the Canadian Satellite Design Challenge. It's absolutely amazing to see the talent that's been put into this. I mean, I've seen people put in really more than a full-time job in this project to see it through. And, you know, what it means for Saskatchewan and the university, it's, it's phenomenal. I mean, we're putting ourselves on center stage, and I think what we're doing is showcasing talent from Saskatchewan. That talent doesn't just come from the College of Engineering. Students from the disciplines of physics, computer sciences, and business have also contributed significantly to its success. Having the commerce students and the arts students on the team allows them to gain experience in the areas they desire and that allows us as the engineers to focus more so on the actual design of the satellite, the area we want the more more experience in. Ultimately when you get out into the world you're going to be working with you know accountants if you're an engineer and vice versa right so it's a good learning experience for people from the get-go. We're really running this like an entrepreneurial environment because that's really what it is. Now the USST is working on raising the four hundred thousand dollars required to launch their satellite which they hope to do early next year. They have reached an agreement with the United States Naval Research Laboratory to collaborate on the science of the project and are also holding a competition to name their satellite. For more information, visit usst.ca. For Shaw TV, I'm Simon Hyatt.